how to capture good quality video from your Xbox 360 by Smash D. Hi tubers, this is Smash D broadcasting from Canada. Uh, today we're gonna see something very interesting. I'm gonna show you guys, if you don't know, how to capture um, very good quality video from your Xbox 360. So, uh, to begin with, I'll explain what you will need and present each item and describe you how to use them. The first item is called the Pelican Airflow Cooler. This device is pretty useful when it comes to connect your Xbox 360 to your VGA monitor. So, um, the reason why we need this is that we're gonna display the 360 on two different monitors. One will be the computer screen through uh, a graphic card and the other one will be uh, the, the TV or the HDTV you're using. So the next item is called a graphic card, which you guys probably know, and we will need to have a graphic card which support the VIVO functions, which enable you to, uh, well, VIVO stands for video in, video, in, video out, and uh, you will need that to uh, achieve the great quality captures from your 360 while you're playing. Uh, here, what I have and what I'm using is called a uh, ATI Radeon 850 uh, X Pro or something like that so that's what I'm using. The third item is called Vivo cables and you probably receive them while you purchase your Vivo graphic card and they are essential for, um, for this process. So the next two items are pretty simple uh, you will need an S-Video cable as well as as well as some RCA cables uh, which mean two audio cables plus one for the image. I was to forget that you will also need uh, a cable which enables you to connect two RCA into an audio jack. Um, on the picture down there what you see is some male audio jack while what you need is female audio jack. You can use a converter or find um, the little Y cable which will al already be a female. So that's it connected to the blue port behind your computer which is for audio input or auxiliary or whatever but connected into the You guys have probably figured it all out but for some who are pretty new to those things I guess I'm gonna explain it. So as the title says Where to connect what? I'm gonna explain it for you. First of all, make sure that your Pelican Airflow is properly snapped to your Xbox 360 by pushing it real hard um, against the 360 or else you will have problem with your Ethernet cable because this is a common problem. Also those Pelican device are not, uh, there's two different models I hope and I guess, one for the premium without HDMI connectors and one with the new with HDMI connector or else you will have problems so make sure you have the good one or you bought the good one then connect your RCA yellow white and red to the standard definition ports and uh, to the composite ports I meant so connect the um, S video now to the ports which is labeled S video and make sure that the switch are set are set on S video which means I think switch one on one and switch two on two now take the other end of the RCA cables, connect the composite yellow cable to your TV while you connect the red and white cable to your um, audio uh, jack uh, converter that you just plugged into the blue part of your computer a while ago. And then also take the other end of the S-Video cable to connect it to the um, uh, the, the Vivo cables and make sure you connect it to the proper one which is S-Video uh, input for your Vivo card. How to capture now? Don't worry it's K. Smash will show us. Now that everything is plugged in properly uh, and by the way there's probably other ways to achieve that but this is how I did it without any quality loss. So when everything is plugged we're gonna need a software to capture everything and I suggest a software called uh, Media Player Classic which is free and you could just google it to download it and there's many places where you can download it. So uh, you have to launch the, that software called Media Player Classic 
uh, and once it's started I'm going to show you how to use it so click on the icon and bring the software down and now you will have to click on file and under file which we don't see in the video there's a where there's a option called select capture device you go there you select your ADI card you select your sound device and then you click OK you will realize that the screen is black and why it's black is because we're using the S video to have the, the best quality as possible then you have to click on the view tab and we don't again see it in the video and you have to click capture which will bring this me menu down on the top of that menu you will see uh, that little list where you have to change for S video so it displays your S video inputs then you will see uh, many options I won't go through all of them so once you have that menu you will see many options uh, mo more important is the resolution you want it to output and make sure it's set up to 720 by 480 uh, I think is the way we should set up so now you click set you will have a proper image size right now you should see something with it, but as I'm capturing this window we don't see the content of the Xbox I'll show you later on so um, I suggest you go online and download the codex called off Yav, which you see in the video right now and once it's installed you can now uh, capture Xbox content pretty uh, with pretty quality make sure you save your file to a proper location where there's enough space and there you go, go. you click record and it's now re recording uh, it's sad that we don't see in the video but like I said I'll show you in this later clip so this is what I was recording while doing the video but like I said we couldn't see it so just to show you what I was recording and now you're looking at that YouTube quality but it's really you have a good resolution if you would see the, the big file on I used to make this video. So we are now looking at my HD TV, which is now is in SD definition, so I can put it on both screen. This is my Xbox down there, and then my TV, and then I'm gonna show you my screen of computer where I'm capturing right now from the camera, the camera I have in N, and as well as in the as the Xbox 360 that you see in that window. I take this gamepad, I press on that thing, and it's gonna pop. I can move the cursor, and it's happening in both screens. So I will game on the TV while capturing on the computer. So I don't even need a preview while capturing, which gives me more power to to capture. So that's about it. I'm getting toggles in the menus, and I won't spend a lot of time on that. And I won't argue that this is is true, and you probably trust me. So it's over, I hope you liked it and you will capture some nice moments. I know there's plenty of ways to do that, such as using TV tuners or for example in AO3 you can save movies which are rendered by a website or I don't know that you can now download back. But this solution will work for every game and is pretty much more convenient because you, you have it straight into your computer. Um, if you would like to still play in HD on your TV, I think you would need a down converter uh, to down convert the signal to SD or have uh, an HD uh, input port in your graphic card or TV tuner. So if you have any questions, feel free, and that's it, guys. See you later.